friends, it's Mia from Interact. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a quiz in minutes with AI. With your quiz, you can garner leads and grow your business. To make a quiz with AI, all you need to do is answer a few prompts and provide a website URL. The quiz will be made based on the information you provide, and the best part, it's free. Yes, you heard that right. It's free to make a quiz with AI. All you need to do is provide your email address to create an Interact account. From there, you can begin customizing your quiz. Once your quiz is ready to be published, you can begin your 14-day free trial. After your 14-day free trial is over, you will begin your active subscription. From there, you'll be collecting leads and growing your business with an Interact quiz. Go to tryinteract.com slash AI, and once on this page, you are going to select Create a Quiz. You are going to be asked, do you have an idea in mind for your quiz? In the course of this video, I'm going to go through each of these three different options to create a quiz with AI. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you how you can customize your quiz with all of Interact's quiz features. To get started, we are going to select the first option. No, I don't have a quiz idea. I'd like to see what AI recommends for me. You can select that option now. What's your website URL? Here, you will paste your main website URL if you want a quiz that works for your whole business. If you do not have a website, no sweat. Simply find a website or article on your specific topic you would like your quiz to be focused around. What does your business do? You want your answer to be the essence of your business. You can be as wordy as you want, and AI will pick out specifics. In my example, I am pretending that I sell skincare products. What is the most common problem you help customers solve? This is what people ask you all the time if you've been running your business for a while now. In my example, the common problem is not knowing your skin type and how to fix your skin issues. The AI quiz maker has generated possible quiz titles. My favorite quiz title is find the right skincare products for your skin type. I'm going to select that quiz title now. What do you want your quiz to do? In my example I provided, I am trying to sell skincare products to my customers based on their skin type. I am going to select recommend products or services with a quiz. Are there specific questions you would like to ask in your quiz? If you have specific questions you would like to include, select yes, I have questions I want to include. However, for my example, I'm going to select, no, have AI generate questions for me. How many questions do you want? I would recommend at most having five to seven questions to keep your quiz taker engaged. Are there specific topics or audiences you want your quiz to address? For my example, the quiz should focus on selling the proper skincare routine and products for customers based on their skin type. The quiz will be used to help the customer select the right skincare products to better their skin. Here is where you are going to sign up or log in to finish your quiz. You can add your email address here to create your Interact account, or you can continue with Google. I am going to continue with Google. The AI quiz maker is now building your quiz. This can take up to five minutes. Your quiz is ready. I'm going to begin editing my quiz. Here is the quiz that AI built. I am now going to select the second option. I have a quiz idea, but not a specific quiz title. What is your quiz idea? Tell AI what your idea is in detail. Give specifics and as much context as you can. AI will use this to construct specific quiz titles that reference your idea. So the more you can give unique details about your idea, the better it will be at recommending quiz titles for your quiz. In this second example, I am going to pretend that I'm a wedding planner. I want my quiz to determine which type of wedding best fits the couple. I have pasted my website URL on popular types of weddings. I'm going to select the quiz title, find the right type of wedding celebration for you. For this example, I want my quiz to determine a quiz taker's personality type. I'm going to select, no, have AI generate questions for me. I am going to select five questions for my quiz. Here, you can specify what you want your quiz to specifically address. I want my quiz to focus on determining the best type of wedding for a couple based on the couple's personality. I am going to again continue with Google. I can start editing and customizing my quiz. Here is the quiz that AI built. I am now going to select my third option. I have an exact quiz I want to make. In this third example, I'm going to pretend that I'm a real estate agent and I want my quiz to assess whether my client is ready to purchase their first home. Here is the URL I want to use for my quiz. What's your quiz title? We recommend quiz titles be posed as a question directly to your ideal quiz taker. If you make the quiz about the person taking the quiz, they are more likely to take the quiz and become a lead if that's your goal. My quiz title is, are you ready to buy your first home? For this example, I want my quiz to assess the knowledge of my clients to see if they are ready to purchase their first home. 
I'm going to select Assess Knowledge or Expertise on a Topic. Do you have specific outcomes for your quiz? Think of outcomes as the results of your quiz. You can, of course, select No, have AI generate the outcomes for me. Remember, the outcomes are just the results of the quiz. However, I'm going to select Yes. I have specific outcomes for this example. Make the title short, literal, and descriptive. Most people taking quizzes glance at these quickly, so they should be able to immediately know what the outcome or result is by glancing at the title. Make your description positively reaffirming and offer up suggestions for improvement or buying products in the context of, you are doing great and here's how you can be even better by working with me or buying my products. Select No, have AI generate questions for me. I'm going to select seven questions for my quiz. I want my quiz to focus on assessing whether my client is ready to purchase their first home based on their knowledge and savings. I'm going to continue with Google. Here is the quiz that AI built. I will now show you the quiz features we offer to customize your quiz. For more in-depth information about any of the features I discuss in this video, be sure to head over to Interact's YouTube page or Help Center for step-by-step -step instructions. I am going to choose my second quiz as my example. Now that we have our quiz, we can begin customizing. You can change your quiz colors, which we definitely recommend. You can change the colors by clicking on each of the different options, or you can even use a hex code. Just use the dropper extension tool to access and match your quiz to your website's colors. This can really help the quiz integrate seamlessly with your website and make it feel like it was just made for your brand. You can also just play around and choose a color you like as well. The text selection here allows you to choose from different Google fonts. So if you click on any of these, it will change the main text throughout the entire quiz. By clicking on the text boxes, you can change your quiz title and quiz description. For example, I'm going to change my quiz title. You can then add a cover image to your quiz. You can search for image, upload an image, or use the URL of an image. I'm going to upload an image from my sister's wedding. Hit upload. You can also edit your call to action button. Once you have completed the cover page of your quiz, now head over to the left side of your screen. Select questions. Under questions, you can edit any of your quiz questions or quiz answers. The quiz answers can be rearranged by clicking on the six dots. The answers can be deleted by selecting the trash icon. There is also the option of using image answers for your quiz question. On the left sidebar, using the six dots, you can rearrange your question order. Next, we'll hover over to answer settings. By selecting multiple answers, your quiz taker will be able to select more than one answer for this particular quiz question. You can then customize the minimum and maximum amount of quiz answers allowed. Hit save. Over to the right is the result correlations. Here, you'll connect each quiz answer to their correlated quiz result. You will do this for each quiz question. At the end of your quiz, your quiz taker will receive a result that matches how they responded throughout the quiz. As you can see here, our AI quiz maker already correlated our quiz answers to their proper result. Hit save. Another option you have for your quiz is turning on branching logic. With our branching logic tool, you can create what I call a tree of life, which is essentially a pathway for every possible way a quiz taker can take your quiz. This is an example of how you can map your quiz using branching logic. Next, we are going to click on the results tab. On the results page, you again have the option to add an image. However, for the result page, you now have the option to add a video. You can upload a video onto YouTube in which you discuss the results. By selecting the text box, you can edit your result title and result description. To add an image to the result text box, hit the photo icon. The image will appear in the result description. At the bottom of your result page, you also have a call to action button. You can customize the button and add a URL. You can also hide your call to action button. Select Redirect Results if you would like to redirect your results to your own landing page using the URL. The result of Traditionalist has been redirected to its own landing page. Hit Save. Now when a quiz taker receives the quiz result of Traditionalist, they will be redirected to a URL. There is also the option to show multiple results. This allows you to show your quiz takers their top results after completing your quiz. Okay, on to lead generation. We are going to go ahead and turn lead generation on. You will want to turn on lead generation to collect emails from your quiz takers as well as quiz analytics. Lead generation allows you to generate leads from the quiz to build up your email list. First, you'll want to select the contact fields that you are going to ask for in your opt-in form. 
I'm going to just select email address and first name. Then go to form settings. You'll want to choose whether or not you are allowing your users to skip the opt-in form. The opt-in form will always appear after the quiz taker has completed all of the questions, but before receiving the quiz results. You can allow users to skip the opt-in form or you can uncheck this option. Once you scroll down, you are able to edit your opt-in form. This is how your opt-in form will appear after your quiz taker has completed the quiz questions. Hit save and continue. You are then taken to integration. This is where you will select your email marketing program to connect your quiz to. As you can see, we integrate with several of the top email marketing programs. With our direct integrations, you can add triggers and actions for quiz results and quiz answers. Use our help docs and help videos to finish connecting your quiz to our integrations. Let's move on to social share settings. Here, you can customize your social share buttons. You can select which social share buttons you'd like to turn on, and then you can also decide if or where you'd like your social share buttons to be displayed on your quiz. Lastly, I will go over conversion tracking. Here, you can connect your quiz to Google Analytics 4 or Facebook Pixel. Once you are happy with your quiz, hit publish. Your quiz is now live. You can now share the live link to your quiz. You can embed your quiz or you can add your quiz as an announcement bar or pop up to your website. Lastly, you can promote your quiz as a Facebook ad. There are just so many options. That was just a brief introduction into all of Interact's major quiz features. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and we will catch you in our next video. Happy quizzing!